so it is normal for everyone when i've joined when my uh, colleagues also joined for everyone it is the same thing in the initial stages it will be difficult because it is new for you as soon as you learn one month two month three month you will get used to it if you are interested in coding if you want to do if you want to make your future please i'll request you to i'll insist you to join acca job because uh, you know you will learn on youtube you can get everything i can also learn from youtube but the plate uh, that placement platform that placement you know uh, support you will have to you will have to you know join any platform then better i i am suggesting that you join the acca job platform because mm-hmm. learning is easy you can learn everyone can learn but here placement uh, placement support is there job requirement is there Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good. We are back with a new testimonial. This video is going to be special for those who have done their graduation from a non-tech background and they want to switch to coding. Even if you are a working professional working somewhere else, you can find it extremely useful. So watch this video till the end and before moving forward, take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you get notifications for all our upcoming videos. So for this session, we have uh, Jayesh with us. Uh, Jayesh completed his engineering in 2019 as a civil engineer, and then he got himself enrolled in MTech, from which he graduated in 2021. Right after that, he got a job as a structural engineer in LIT Chennai. But he had a uh, even though he had a good job, he had a different calling. He wanted to pursue his career in coding, and his dream came true. Uh, now he is working as an SDE in Gaian Solution. So in this session, uh, we will be discussing how he discovered his love for coding, uh, how his experience was with Acura Job, and how he finally got placed in Gaian Solution as an SME. Uh, and he will also be sharing some tips and strategies for people who are looking to transition into tech industry and are from different backgrounds. So do make sure you watch this video till the end. Uh, welcome, Jayesh. Congratulations for getting placed in Gaian Solution as an SME. Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's start with your uh, introduction. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi everyone. As you know, my name is Jayesh Malviya. So, uh, as you told, I completed my bachelor's and master's both in uh, you know civil engineering in LD College of Engineering, Ahmedabad. So after that, from college campus uh, placement, I went to the Larsen and Tuto Chennai headquarters. where i was designated as a structural engineer so in larsen and tubro lnt i was responsible for you know design of civil structures manually and using automation also mm-hmm. and also i have left in larsen and tubro in february 2023 so that's all about my experience um, if i tell about acu job a jabi so you know when i was in lnt i was introduced to the coding there before that i never knew the coding so yeah. uh, from that moment i got to know that java javascript all these languages and all these things are there so through that i you know i went online and i saw mm-hmm. some youtube lectures and uh, some instructors were there so they were teaching so for almost 2 and 3 months i did on my own so after that i joined some another platform so the thing is i was not satisfied there so in 3 to 4 months i left that uh, uh, you know another boot camp then after that i got into the acu job that is the december month i am from december batch so okay. yes uh, after that i completed my acu job course in uh, almost uh, august month and i got placed mm-hmm. to bayan solutions in august month okay great so basically uh, you had discovered acu job on your own you were a part of a different coding boot camp before and then you uh, were not liking it so then you joined uh, acu job in december yes. right yes okay exactly. Great, uh, great, Jayesh. So you started your journey uh, with us in uh, December, and now uh, it's all—it's more than six months that you have been studying with us. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey? Like, what is that one thing that you have been consistently doing, which has led to this placement in Gaian Solution, and what are things that you do regularly as a student in Acura? So first thing I did is more the practice. If you do the more practice of data structures and algorithms and all the frameworks that uh, AccuJob is teaching to us, so that is the thing you have to do a lot of practice. You have to revise all the things. Second thing is patience. You have to be patient. Patience. Okay, you'll have to be that. And the th- one more thing is, it's not like you know uh, you'll have to get in uh, a six month or four month like that. for every person things are different so you'll have to be patient 
so that is the thing four months six months means you'll have to you know look for a nice opportunity for you there will be a lot mm-hmm. of opportunity let's say there will be five lpa six lpa eight lpa some different mm-hmm. frameworks will be there some different designations will be there so mm-hmm. you have to choose for yourself that at which track you want to go at which place which company is good for you so that is the thing i did okay so you were very much consistent with whatever you were uh, you know you were following and you used to do questions daily on a daily basis Just great daily basis. so jayesh uh, one thing that i would like to understand from you that you did your uh, bachelor's in civil engineering right and right after that you also did your masters hai na aur uske baad you even got a very good job in lnt as a structural engineer right so like uh, it's um, it's a it's a dream for most of the people out there like in whichever stream they do their graduation and they get a really good job in that stream as well so that was something which happened with you but then that was something which you did not want to you know continue doing you had uh, you wanted to make a career in coding so can you like tell us uh, what was the reason behind making this switch what made you push push uh, towards coding uh see i did a job for 1.5 years in lnt so in that scenario i got to know that what are the you know future is there in that field it is future is there but uh, i wanted something more i wanted something interesting uh, that field was not interested for me means that work culture was not interested for me and also i was introduced to coding in that job only so i got more cha- i got more interest in the coding so <laughs> that's how i you know searched everywhere in google what are the things are there what future is there so mm-hmm. i got interest in coding after that so i i started on my own after that i joined like the first okay great theek hai jash so i guess uh, that is a uh, fair enough reason like whenever uh, if you start having interest towards something else you should not think that uh, it's too late to make a decision you have to continue you can just switch whenever you feel like and if you do the hard work required you will always get the uh, job in that field as well great uh, so jayesh let's talk a little bit about acio job uh, you know and its curriculum right so you have been uh, associated with us from the last december uh, can you just tell us uh, a little bit about uh, acio job portal like there are a lot of things which are there you know you can do n number of questions on gym section you can take one on one mentorship you can also work on your soft skills by taking the hr mentorship sessions right so there there are a lot of things what was that one thing that was most useful to you and that helped you actually crack in this job uh for me it was gym sections where you know lot of dsa questions are there aptitude questions are there so mm-hmm. around uh, when i uh, recently checked it was around almost 3000 maybe now it will be more because every month they are adding uh, new new questions so mm-hmm. yeah we can uh, you know practice more dsa questions there so that was very useful for me other than that job platform is there okay so uh, whatever companies are coming in acquire job platform these these are there other than that one off campus placement is means off campus tech section is also there where mm-hmm. you know usually in linkedin nokri indeed whatever the jobs are coming they will be also posted in this platform so yeah that was mm-hmm. useful okay great jash so uh, before getting placed in client solution how many companies did you apply for uh, i almost applied i think 20 to 25 applied but i a uh, sit in interview for almost i think 7 to 8 companies okay so you sat in all these 7 8 companies and you kept on getting rejected so what do you think was the reason behind uh, being rejected and uh, finally what was the lesson that you learned which you applied in this interview because of which you got placed in one or two companies uh, first one or two round was based on dsa so mm-hmm. in that uh, you know a very hard level dsa question was asked so i was not prepared at the time because of my personal reasons so that are uh, one two opportun- uh, one or two opportunities because of that i lost and mm-hmm. one or two are uh, you know they were expecting more because i had a 1.5 years experience okay mm-hmm. but that is not on a core development field that is civil based yeah. little bit coding was there so they mm-hmm. were expecting more from me so because whenever i applied i was I, i was applying based on experience so mm-hmm. they uh, were expecting more from me so that is the reason that one or two companies i i lost it and after that uh, you know one or two that uh, went fine and finally a uh, grand solution so i was blessed there okay great uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your experience as a structural engineer before this uh, you know uh, coding uh, journey that you've had so you have already worked as a structural engineer for 1.5 years in lnt right which was a completely non tech uh, non coding job right now you're working as a software engineer and it's been a month for you so can you uh, tell us few similarities between both the roles that you've had so far and some differences 
and some things that you are liking in this role so main thing from any job experience if it is a coding or non coding first thing you will first thing i learn is communication so you will go in a corporate life so you will have to talk to your seniors you will have to give presentations so your communication skills will improve that is for sure so mm-hmm. that is the thing that i learned from my previous organization that i liked about that i can use in any organization i am still using in this organization also it's been mm-hmm. one month year so that is the thing so maybe we can uh... discuss something related to your experience at acquire job only any anecdotal experience that you would like to share which happened in acquire job which is sort of a game changer for you maybe some session by the you know uh, by by the instructor or some topic which was like truly great game changer for you so i joined acquire job in december month so my mm-hmm. placement readiness session uh, placement readiness module was almost completed after 5 uh, to 6 months So mm-hmm. after that, uh, through my batch manager, I got opportunity to you know do a mentorship in Acquire Job platform. Like there is a chat support uh, based on Crips, a uh, Crisp, where you know I can solve the doubts of the new joinees or new batches. So Great. that's what I did. So uh, usually students will ask doubts to me regarding S maps, uh, graphs mm-hmm. are there. Okay, like uh, recursion is there. So that is the opportunity I got through uh, Acquire Job. Okay. Great. So initially, you were, um, you know, associated with us as a student, and then you started getting students' doubts there, etc. Et so, uh, Jayesh, I think one question that I would like to uh, ask on this part would be that being associated with us as a mentor, you get a lot of student queries, right? So, uh, can you like share what are the most asked uh, questions by the students uh, when it when uh, when it comes to DSA, and the if if there is anything that you would like to tell them. while approaching dsa yeah usually when students are you know in the first module they will have a lot of doubts because it's starting for them okay so mm-hmm. small small doubts they will ask they will prefer video calls uh, that is fine but at the same time on video call or on a chat they will ask uh, for uh, tips that how we should improve what should we do because we are starting we are not understanding in some things we are mm-hmm. delaying some things so it is normal for everyone when i joined when my uh, colleagues also joined for everyone it is the same thing in the initial stages it will be difficult because it is new for you as soon as you learn one month two month three month you will get used to it so uh, that's my tip to you because you'll have to be patient okay you will learn it it's everything takes a time one month two month three month you will get used to it and you will learn so no need to worry that in one month you are not able to grasp everything yet together the more practice you will do you will be able to uh, you know get used to it. so mm-hmm. great great i think uh, that is great advice jaysh uh, i just ask you the last question for this so uh, you are someone who has worked in a completely different industry altogether and now working as an sd in a software development field so any tips or uh, advice you would like to share to people who are looking forward to make similar switch coming from a completely different background Uh, yes if you are interested in coding if you want to do if you want to make your future please i'll request you to i'll insist you to join acquire job because uh, you know you will learn on youtube you can get everything i can also learn from youtube but the plate uh, that placement platform that placement you know uh, support you will have to you will have to you know join any platform then better i, I am suggesting that you join the acquire job platform because mm-hmm. learning is easy you can learn everyone can learn but here placement uh, placement support is there job requirement is there so yeah we can end it here i think it was a great session uh, your journey is quite uh, insightful as well and i hope people watching you definitely get inspiration from you and can do a similar move in their career <laughs> right yes. uh, okay. thank you so much jayesh for joining with us that is it for today's video guys i hope you all liked it with aman please like it share the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you guys have any queries you can comment down below your questions so that we can cover them in our next video and if you are also excited about learning coding go to our website acquirejob.com and register for our aptitude test this test will help you discover which course whether it's on stack or java full stack is best suited for your aspirations both courses have amazing instructors from top it companies and access to one on one sessions with exceptional coders to mentor you for your next coding job Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity. Simply click on the link provided in the description below to learn more and register. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you guys are always updated on our upcoming videos. Thank you so much.